New this morning, a report from the Anti-Defamation League shows the state of Florida is home to what's described as an extensive network of white supremacists and other extremists. News for Jax reporter Ashley Harding joining us live. Ashley, Jacksonville is named in this report as well. It is Vic and Jennifer. You know, the report highlights a group known as NatSoch Florida or NSF for short, but the ADL says it is based here in Duval County and is a neo-Nazi organization. According to According the Anti-Defamation League, this is an image showing members of the neo-Nazi organization NatSoch Florida protesting in Jacksonville earlier this year. News for Jax has blurred part of the group's sign, but the message is anti-Semitic and anti-LGBTQ plus in nature. Also in the report, the ADL goes on to say the founder of the group was identified by the Center on Extremism. Since then, the group has ramped up its activities, but it's not alone. The report also found from January 2020 to this past August, the ATL recorded over 400 instances of white supremacist propaganda being distributed in Florida. It also found hate crimes have continued to rise in the Sunshine State over the last several years. The most recent data from the FBI show 56.1% of nationally reported religion-based hate crimes in 2020 targeted the Jewish community. In Florida, hate crimes against that community accounted for 80% of the religiously motivated incidents in 2020, and anti-Semitic hate crimes have risen 300% in the last 10 years. Just this past weekend, people living in the Holiday Hill area of Jacks said they woke up to racist flyers in their neighborhood. They strongly condemned it. That's just disgusting to think that one race is superior to the other. It's, 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 it's a disgrace to everyone. As local neighbors rally against the hate, the Anti-Defamation League also made a list of ways to fight extremism in its report. That included condemning hatred, passing and enforcing laws to protect marginalized groups, training law enforcement on how to recognize and document hate crimes, anti-Semitic and other bias-motivated incidents, and also protecting free and fair elections. And the report also revealed that Florida is home to the largest number of January 6th, January 6th suspects. It showed of the 855 people charged in connection with the insurrection, 90 of them are in fact from the state of Florida. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.